everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just finished this journal um, so I thought I'd come and do a little flick through for you and talk about some of the pages. I'll probably not talk about all of them but we'll talk about a few. Um, this is a journal that I made for myself for my 40th birthday. Hence there's a picture of me on the front um, and it says she listened to the hypnotizing river. It's a reference to my little art room where I'm sit sitting now um, because um, there's a river at the bottom of my garden so as I sit here I can always hear the river as I work away so that's a reference to that and um, I've really enjoyed working in this one I included loads of really interesting papers old jelly prints dyed papers all sorts of things vintage papers so um, it's been a joy to work in this one um, so let's have a look through and I'll talk uh, I'll talk about some of them. So, I'll talk about my favourites probably. So here we go. Um, this one um, is a reference to me and my daughters. It's, I mean, it's not actually an image of, of, of us, but um, I believe we went stargazing. We were looking at the moon um, one evening, so hence the, the moon's there. And the words say they want to find out things together. Now, a few of these are from uh, during lockdown and the pandemic, this one being one of them, where it was all quite difficult. This one as well. Stand by till the storm is over. And I found this wonderful <laughs> image of this man trying to hold up a tree in the storm. It's actually a little hole so you can see through that. This is uh, an image of my youngest daughter and um, I just absolutely adored this picture and I found the words she was satisfied with her own way <laughs> which describes her perfectly. Sometimes I'll just find images in old books and that sparks the page off uh, and the story. Sometimes it's about me and my life, my experiences. Other times I just really enjoy creating stories as I have done with this image here. And this one, I just really like the image. This is one of Tim Holt's photo booth uh, images. It's a parcel tape transfer there. This is an old image, uh, it's actually an old photograph that I found in a stash and I just love this, there's quite a few in the stash of this same woman and I just really like the look of her, she just, um, she looks fun but no nonsense. <laughs> so woven page and the words here say she talks in the same soft voice but with the brutal levity of a tornado. I really like that. This is the start of the Seek Together Create Challenge that I run um, over on Instagram with Tina Hoyce. Uh, this one was with um, Mixed Media Magpie, that's Melanie, and, um, and her name's gone out of my head. Oh, goodness. Laura, of course it is, Laura Dennison. <laughs> sorry Laura um, and we uh, set challenges where you had to find four things we just chose one thing each per week and you had to find those things and create a, a page with it so I, I, can't, I mean I can't remember what all of the um, things were but I, I believe probably it was um, thread which was tangled in the feather metal was definitely one of them something black I think I believe with the lace I can't remember what the fourth one was So the next four are the same, so this is the same. And this one, it's actually an image of my uh, my eldest daughter when she was little, and it was my little bird. That lifts up there. And that's the last of the four weeks of the Seek Gather Create for the summer. So, so I'll put the date, 2021.
I really like this one. It's sort of uh, something about this one that I just really like. I like the image, the black and white image there with the with the white writing, and these uh, collagey crosses that I put in. I love this one. This is a fabric um, transfer, image transfer. I really like the look of this man, and um, so I found the words he was told he had a cheerful philosophy. <laughs> that image transfer didn't come out that great, I think, because of the type of material I was working on, but sort of came out quite ghostly. And in the end, I thought I quite liked it I like that. The stitching. This is <laughs> this is a very fed up day, um, and this girl was just exactly how I was feeling on that day, and I only needed one word. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just how I was feeling. I was getting up early one day to come and work in my in my journal. Um, so it gives me a lift on a dark morning, which is exactly what it does. I just love this image that I found. This actually folds. She's just fabulous, isn't she? She is as well. Uh, uh, this is from an old film book. I couldn't tell you the actress's name, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Maybe some of you can. Um, she waited for them to obey her. I thought that's definitely how she, <laughs> how she looks. These next two pages I was feeling oh, feeling a bit low, feeling a bit like, I don't know if you ever get the feeling, I'm just feeling invisible. And that's how I felt. Um, she was forgotten again and I, and I used this sort of negative space. And this one as well. Yeah. It's really good to work in your journals if you're feeling like that. It's very therapeutic and I think it really does help. Love this one. I really like the image that I found, the girl in the woods there and the ruffles and how that all came out and the colours just really came together well this page. This is the Seek Together and Create again, this time for winter, the next four pages. Um, this time um, it was Tina, Laura and uh, Jana, Jana Clinard Harris and I for this four. You can find all that info on the on my Instagram channel if you're interested. We really like the heron. Don't often use uh, images like that, but I think I should do more often because I think it worked really well. This one has a little hidden butterfly that says treasure. I think butterfly is one of the things we had to find. And then I love this image, this photograph, old photograph. These people dress for a wedding, they're lovely hats. Most transfers don't always come out all that well, but I, I still really like this kind of rough look to them. This is a page where I was playing with wax and I've actually dripped wax over, over the image. I don't know if you can really see that, but... Um, Yes, the image especially is very waxy. This was playing along with a challenge on Instagram. I think it was again Tina. I can't. And it was another artist. I can't remember who. Um, they were doing the. Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember the name of the challenge now. But we had to use neutral colours and they gave us um, prompts. It was really fun. Um, this one, I am powerful possibly it was. So this was, says I found the words I am a powerful giant. <laughs> this one says I am the earth. I am the courageous bull. I love this one. I love the image that I chose. It's, it's a yoga page. She's supposed to be lying the other way, but I liked her standing up. 
and I like I really liked using the just just the neutral colors I think it worked really well um, she was enough I really like that one as well now I did that that was a really uh, an image transfer that really was really faint so I decided to stitch into it instead I don't think that worked well I found this image in an old film book and look at the look at the costume it's fabulous <laughs> um, and so I decided to add the words he was not as comfortable as he was trying to appear <laughs> yeah and I like uh, this is on the back of an old packaging I really like the uh, those little tabs that you get at the top of packaging this one's about my daughter who's just so imaginative the things she comes up with I just honestly don't know what goes on in her head she's amazing um it's not actually an image of her but I found this image of uh this I think it's a little girl dressing up um like a clown or something well this looks like they've got a knight's hat and all sorts of things and then I found the word she could imagine anything I found these old wooden numbers in my stash I was trying to use, see what I could do with them. I love this one that I did the other day. Um, this is actually about uh, me again when I was talking to the talking to my daughters and uh, realising that um, they were going on about things that I just totally was um, not aware of, not keeping up with the times at all, <laughs> feeling a bit old and... Um, and so it says she was in the past, but she didn't want to escape. Um, that just sort of described me quite well at that point. This one was for the Ugly Art Club uh, Spilled Ink Challenge for June. I really enjoyed that challenge uh, this month. I just loved doing all the spilling of the ink and playing around. And I decided this one didn't need an image. It was quite grungy and I kept it so... Um, yeah, I love that. It has got feathers in the background. And this is the last page, which I've just done uh, about 10 minutes ago. And um, I don't know, I decided to go with pink dots and uh, it almost looks like the night sky. I think I was probably inspired. I put the image on uh, first of this girl looking out the window and it made me feel like a night sky um, above her. And that is it. Another one done. I absolutely have loved this book. Um, I'm I'm always sorry when I'm finished, <laughs> but look forward to starting a new one. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've got any questions at all, um, just drop me a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And um, thank you very much for watching. Take care.